Hello, hello. My name is the Asian Kid, and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about my main Zealot build for Darktide. The goal of this build was to make something similar to the original endgame Zealot build before a class overhaul, with some slight modifications. It leans into a melee, jack of all trades type of role with strong tanking, independent play, elite, and special killing, as well as boss killing potential depending on the types of weapons you bring with you. But before I get into the build, make sure to like and subscribe. I plan on making a lot more Dark Tide content and gameplay, things of that sort, so make sure to subscribe for more. Now without further ado, let's get into my Zealot build. Now let's take a look at some of the perks that I run for my Zealot. First off, going down the left side, taking Disdain for extra damage, as well as enemies within, enemies without. For that extra toughness regeneration when fighting several enemies, these two perks are a must-have for pretty much any Zealot build that you run. Now going down the middle, I will take Anointed in Blood, Fortitude and Fellowship, Purge the Unclean, Restoring Faith, as well as the Immolation Grenade. The Immolation Grenade is a Molotov that creates a small pool of fire that does burn damage over time, is good for dealing with patrols, getting yourself out of sticky situations, as well as reviving teammates when they're down. Moving downward, I will take Until Death as well as Holy Revenant. This is a much this is a nerf version of what Until Death was pre class overhaul patch, but it is still very strong. It protects you from overhead crushers or very strong enemies that can one-shot you, as well as with the Holy Revenant, you'll be able to gain some of that health back. Moving downward, taking Benediction as your aura. This gives you extra toughness. Damage reduction, good for both you as well as your teammates. Moving downward, I will take Fury of the Faithful as well as Redoubled Zealot for that extra charge. Fury of the Faithful will allow you to close gaps to range enemies as well as move around the map much quicker. Upon skill activation, you will immediately gain 50% toughness, which can be very helpful in emergency situations where your toughness is broken. With the added 20% attack speed bonus, 25% power, along with the guaranteed critical hit, um, is great when you need to deal a large chunk of damage all at once, especially against crushers and bosses, and it also helps with dealing with hordes. Moving downward, I will be taking Faithful Frenzy for an increased attack speed, Sustained Assault for increased melee attack damage, as well as Swift Certainty to help with dodging enemy ranged attacks, as well as closing the gap between myself and ranged enemies. Moving to the left, I will take Punishment for extra damage as well as Invocation of Death to help with my ability cooldown, with the Keystone being Blazing Piety as well as taking the Fury Rising skills and Righteous Warrior. The Blazing Piety Keystone is great for dealing with Hordes, especially on the higher difficulties such as Auric Levels or Damnation Missions with the High Intensity Modifier. With the two Keystone Talents, you will be constantly proccing Blazing Piety, giving you that high critical chance throughout the mission. Now moving on to weapons. For this build, I'd say pretty much any weapon will suffice as this is a melee jack of all trades type of build. Personally, I enjoy using the Chainsword, Eviscerator, Aatrox Mark II Axe, and Heavy Swords. But then again, the build choice, the weapon choice is up to you. As for ranged weapons, you'll be a bit more limited with this build as the perks are geared more towards melee and not so much for range. You will want to use your ranged weapons as a way to cover your weaknesses, which may be killing bosses, elites, or specials depending on which melee weapon you run. For the best overall ranged weapon for this build, I would recommend the Flamer, as it is good for killing elites, bosses, and horde clearing. For boss killing, you'll want to take the Flamer or the Bolt Gun, and for killing elites and specials, you'll want to take either a Shotgun or Revolver. When it comes to using this build in game, your primary role will be a frontline tank DPS hybrid that can brawl with enemies on the front lines, post the gap to range enemies, or cover the flank when fighting hordes and patrols. Throughout the mission, you will want to mainly use your melee weapon, clearing hordes, and to kite larger enemies, which will allow your teammates to deal with specials and ranged units. If you're running a thunder hammer or using bolter or flamer, you'll be able to quickly deal with elite enemies and killing mini bosses throughout the mission. Be wary of any trappers and dogs that may get mixed in with hordes or patrols as these specialists can be hard to spot in large crowds and being disabled by one of these specialists can often result in a team wipe if caught off guard. 
Now that's going to be everything for this Zealot build. It took me a while to draft and record everything that was needed for this video, so I want to thank all of you who have made it this far. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. More Dark Tide content will be coming to my channel, so if you have any video suggestions or any feedback, please leave it in the comments down below. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day.